This is going to be a quick overview tutorial regarding display settings within Grasshopper. So in the main menu bar under display, we have our options categorized in several sections. The first section is regarding the display of the Grasshopper objects, component capsules themselves uh, on canvas. So I can actually maximize Grasshopper window for this section. So there's an option to draw icons or labels for the whole document. There's an option to draw fancy wires. There's also an option to draw full names. Again, for the whole document. So the second set is regarding the preview geometry within Rhino window. We have preview mesh settings. We can choose to have no preview. We can choose wireframe preview. Shaded previews at the default. Selected only preview, so we would only see selected geometries. And then we can also access preview settings where we can, let's say, change colors. This last section of options can also be accessed in the Canvas toolbar on your right upper corner. And I'm also going to be talking more in depth about these options in the tutorial regarding Canvas toolbar. But let's move forward. So the third section is also regarding object uh, preview within Rhino window. And the first option in this section is about point preview, and we can choose dot preview, a point as a white point with border preview or cross. So you see cross is not that visible here. It overlaps a bit. So I'm going to choose point. That's better. The next option here in this section is preview plane size. As you can see in Rhino viewport, we have a current plane or coordinate system. If I type in the command prompt in Rhino grid, I can choose to change some of the grid uh, settings. And I can also turn it off. And now I have only one plane visible, and it's from Grasshopper. And as you can see, it's pretty tiny. I would like to change the preview plane size. I'm going to type 5 and click Enter. And I have a larger plane preview now. Moving forward, the next option is regarding a preview mesh edges. I'm going to turn off the small definition here, turn off the preview, and then turn on the preview of this part with mesh. So as you can see here, I have a circle generated with a certain radius, and I also have mesh, but I don't see the full information. I turn off the circle, you can see that this mesh has no edges visible for me. So I have to go under display and select preview mesh edges option. And now I can see the full topology of this mesh and the structure of it. There is a difference between points uh, created within Rhino and Grasshopper. I am explaining this difference in another tutorial, but for now, just wanted to show you that if you have a point created within Rhino, is um, has the accessibility within Rhino, I can select it in Rhino view. And it also has a gumball. And uh, 
if I select this coordinate in Grasshopper, you can also see a smaller type of gumball. And if you cannot see this gumball, you need to go to the Grasshopper window under Display and select Gumball option. Turn it on. I would also like to discuss some zoom tools here, which you can find in the main menu bar under View and Zoom. So here, if I select this box and go View and Zoom, I can choose to zoom select it. But as you can see, the canvas moved or the view on canvas moved. Zoom extends, zoom up or left or right. So these options are actually working within Grasshopper win window on Canvas. But the last option, Zoom on Preview, does exactly what it says. So if I somehow lost my geometry, if I select this component with a box and go under View, Zoom and select Zoom on Preview. I have my box right in front of me. So this is a very convenient option. You can also access it by selecting the component and using radial menu, which you call by clicking mouse wheel and selecting this one. Zoom to preview geometry of all selected objects. Select and it also zooms in. Okay, so these are all the options and tools that I wanted to discuss in this quick tutorial, and I'll see you in the next one.